Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Herzog, a professional abstract painter. Welcome to Chapter 9. We are still here looking through rose-colored glasses at the wide array of pinks from Charvin Extra Fine Acrylics. Up next is Eva's pink. In my mind, this is the ultimate pink. It's the bow on a little girl's dress or a perfect rosebud. It's every blossom in spring. And it's also exactly the color I'm talking about when I suggest thinking of pink as a very nifty beige. I use Eva's pink all the time as a behind-the-scenes color. It politely steps back to let the other colors shine. It's the supporting actor who will give your painting structure and substance. Eva's pink is the space between neighbors, the creator of peace and harmony. You can see I've got lots of bright pinks in this painting, but Eva is the background. And she really has as much real estate as anyone, you just don't notice that she helps hold things together. Eva might look delicate, but in truth she will give your painting strength and subtlety, all the while letting the power of the strong colors rip. And the other reason I often use pink as a beige is the whole concept of opposite colors. Think about your color wheel. To give a passage a little bit of pop, I'll lay in an opposite color. But I don't always go for the strong color. By putting Eva's quietly next to the greens, I'm getting some spark from opposites, but it's quiet. Just using a hint. When there's already enough big things going on, I can't resist making even my background a little more interesting. Thank you for visiting. I'm Kristen Herzog, and you can see more of my work at www.kherzogart.com.